Hey, this is Joe from Divi Mobile Design, and been getting a lot of questions with people asking how to get blurbs to stack or not to stack on a mobile device, and they have them side by side when you have two images, um, or however you decide to lay them out. Um, I'm going to take a look at our parent company here. And as you can see, we went ahead and did two blurbs side by side, and there's a lot of different looks that you can do with the blurb, with the image or the colored background. So I went ahead and put together a test page here, and we'll take a look at that. And I just called this page side by side blurb. Um, and I use all my different mobile looks. Um, is a section so when I can pull them in on a home page I can well I'll just show you here most of you know you can disable and I've got this mobile section disabled on desktop and tablets and only to show on mobile and then if this was a true home page and you had other sections for your home page on here then you would do just the opposite hide on the mobile show on tablet and desktop so as you can see, I'll go ahead and open up this page here so you can see what it looks like. And uh, standard section, it has the home up there in the header, logo, company description. Then you have the blurbs that are not stacked and side by side, and social area, and then your footer. And these type of mobile layouts, and you can make it look a lot of different ways, but allows for a lot of great interaction uh, with the mobile user. So as you can see here, we've got um, the blurb section here. And what you need to do is you just open up the row and make the row full width. Use the custom gutter width and then bring that down to one. And then under the custom CSS, you want to give column one a class name. I use mobile column. And then same thing with the second column within the row. And then once you've done that, let me go ahead and unlock the code box here. You just add a simple style. Um, style, and then here's the CSS class mobile column display, inline block, max width, 50%, and then close your style. And that's really all that's needed in order to get these blurbs to be side by side. Uh, the 50%, um, that's basically saying, you know, to take up 100% of the screen, um, each column at 50%. So if we were going to do a three column, now our margins between each blurb is going to be off a little bit because we haven't adjusted but we're going to go ahead and go three wide uh, I'll just make a I'll just clone location here three times I'll just drop it over here and then instead of 50 percent now we're going to need to be 33 percent And then save and exit and go ahead and update the page and then I'll go ahead and refresh this here so once you're all done with the page refreshing now we're three across now here between your blurbs because we brought that in you might have to go ahead and adjust your um, top and bottom margins which is really simple to do but there's no global CSS required I'm gonna go ahead and put this back how it was tell it to be two column adjust my code to be 50 percent I'll go ahead and lock this back down but it is really handy when you don't have to use any global CSS and 
you're doing it right within the section itself and instead of having all your images stack you can go ahead and do it side by side and just gives a great um, interactive look um, for the mobile users that are visiting your website hope you all found this useful